What's up guys? Welcome back to Wrong and Strong. As you can see, the background, it's my podcast channel that I still need to get going, but I'll get there. I'll get there. Building slowly but surely, that's all that counts. Mexican drug lord El Marron was captured after years on the run. They got him. Let's get into this video. Drugs, money, mansions, and private jets. A myth is being created around the narco culture. Narco culture has gone mainstream and can be seen in various areas like music, religion, soap operas, fashion, and language. But it's not all the pretty roses people like to see. Join me as I tell you the truth behind cartel life. This is narco culture. Hey, what's up? My name is JC and I am Wrong the Strong. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, don't miss nothing. And if you are part of my Wrong the Strong crew, Subanse la Suburban. Let's put some gas in it so we don't end up in the wrong turf. It happened. We talked about this a couple, you know, weeks back. Security forces parade the cuffed cartel boss on TV. The leader of the Santa Rosa Lima cartel, El Marron. Sledgehammer. He had been in a bloody turf war with El Mencho. If you guys don't know who El Mencho is, he uh, has one of, the, I want to say, one of the most powerful uh, cartels right now, the Nueva Generación Jalisco. Um, it's a, it's a it's very powerful organization. But um, he had been fighting over Guanajuato. And Marrón, I think he's about 40 years old. But uh, he, he was blamed for everything that was going bad in Guanajuato right now. In Celaya, all those uh, towns, there was, there was a lot of shootings, a lot of people getting killed, a lot of people getting kidnapped. It was a bloody long, it was a year war with the Jalisco. Besides a bloody turf war, El Marron was trying to build like his support and network around the locals, you know, sharing some of the money from the robberies and stuff like that. And if you guys are not familiar, you know, he was, uh, they were stealing like from the train, stealing from uh, pipelines, gasoline, stuff like that. A different kind of, uh, you know, uh, organization. They were uh, bringing in money from different sources and then you know, stumbled upon the whole uh, uh, drug cartel stuff. So they started doing that too. Well, they were trying to build their support in, around their, their community, you know, trying to share the money of the robberies and everything. That kind of backfired on them because then the trains and the pipelines became better guarded because the president just wasn't having it no more. And the gang just... You know, I guess they said they turned around and just started going all out extortion, kidnapping, and it kind of hurt them because then everybody started turning their back on them. And it doesn't help when you're in a way fighting for turf with a way more organized, way more powerful organization like the Jalisco Cartel. You guys have seen it. I don't need to tell you. I told you guys at the beginning, it wasn't going to end good because you're going with an organization that's a hundred times bigger, richer, everything than you, and you have the government on your tail. That's that's it's almost like you have to run and hide in a cave and never come back out. But you know that was that was the thing is that you can't be that small of an organization and try to fight with a big organization like that and this is what happens when when the government doesn't want you around guess what they're gonna catch you they're gonna catch you they're gonna lock you up whether they have to lock up your family your friends they're eventually gonna come close enough to get you and they're gonna get you. And then you're locked up, you're done, you're going to max prison, you're getting extradited to the United States. And that's it, you're done. 
you cannot expect I don't understand how to this day a lot of people expect that that career is long term <laughs> it's not it's not long term you could be smarter and last a little bit longer but if you check every gangster every I mean history there's not too many that make it out and the ones that did make it out don't share their stories on how they made it out so there is no plan there is no blueprint there is no guide El Señor de los Cielos is one of one of the guys that I think did make it out just because of so much you know his fingerprints being burnt off but his uh, dying while the sur you know the surgery was going on that man had billions and billions of dollars he could have pulled something off like that you know but like I said it's it's one out of ten that make it out I had a friend in Chicago that I used to always say oh you know he made it out you know he was always smart he never went too big never went he stayed in the middle never trusted too many people uh, always did shit on his own blah 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 and you know he opened up you know car wash a bar <clears throat> and I used to always give him props because I used to always be like, okay, so he was one of the smart ones that, you know, put his money away. He was one of the smart ones that stayed under the radar, never got caught, didn't fuck with a lot of people so people couldn't snitch on him, didn't, didn't you know, interact with a lot of people so people didn't even know who he was. He just got popped. Just got popped a month ago. And... The stuff that he got popped with was it's not it's not little it's a it's a, a key of heroin. It's if you know the guidelines on sentencing for for that, it's pretty high. And it it only took them I think he's fifty two I want to say. But that's what I mean is that one out of ten, if that, is a huge gamble to take. I wanted to talk about El Marron because he actually lasted a lot longer than what I thought just because of the structure. It's not that I didn't think that he was like powerful enough or none of that. He was, it, it's like a company that makes a hundred grand a year competing with a company that makes a one billion a year. There is no competition. It's for Ferrari and Ford. <laughs> You know, and and it, it's it's like I say, man. You can't expect to do bad stuff and not expect bad consequences to happen. You can't, especially when you're in those deep of dark waters where we're talking about drugs, murder, kidnapping, extortion, torture. All those really bad things that have to do with a lot of dark, dark black waters that, thank God, I do not have to step in them no more. It doesn't lead to nothing good. And at the end of the day, whether it's tomorrow, a year from now, 10 years from now, eventually they're going to catch you. And you're going to go to prison. And then you're going to wonder all those years while you were in there, by yourself, wrestling with all the demons and everything you've done and said and experienced, you ask yourself, why? Or what could I have done different? Why am I here? Why am I alone? Why does nobody write me? Why does nobody send me money? And that's because we spent all those years chasing that, that money, power, women, we spent so many years chasing that that we failed to realize that all the riches and everything we need are right here. Right here. Right here. Us. Today, I live way more happier than when I had all that money in my, in my closet. I'm happy because I've learned to love myself. I'm happy because I've learned to love my friends my wife, my kids. So 
So this is why it's so important for me to share these messages. It's not to tell you, hey, the next drug lord got caught and the next drug lord is going to come out. It's, it's, I, I've told you guys year after year, I do not glamorize the life that I lived. I share these videos so you can learn and you can see what happens. There's two roads, dead in prison. That's it. And they might be one happy story, but it's one. Stay out of trouble, man. Stay out for drugs. Stay out of jail. My name is JC. I am Wrong to Strong. Don't judge nobody. Give somebody a hug. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, you only have one life to live. If you live it right, you'll never have to set a foot in prison. And you can be successful and be somebody. Wrong to Strong. Suan Sela Suburban. Let's go.